With just four months to go until the official start of Halloween Horror Nights 33, we have recently received a brand new speculation map that could be pointing towards what we should expect at this year's event. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new speculation map as well as covering some of the things that you will need to know. More of that coming up next. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel that takes you through the fog with our breakdown of spec map version 2 for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. In today's video we will be focusing on the changes from spec map version 1 to version 2 as well as some additional thoughts that we have on the official news released from Universal. And like always this will of course lead up to our next live stream on Tuesday May 7th where we'll discuss all of this more in depth so be sure to mark down that day in your calendar to join us for that discussion. We have this video broken down into two main segments with a bonus segment towards the end, which will get its very own video later on this week. Those two segments are the new additions that we received to this map, as well as the first one we're gonna be briefly diving into, which is the things that we lost from map one to map two. We lost a total of six things from the first speculation map, five of those being potential houses and one of those being a potential show. So help us in saying goodbye to those symbols. First one up is the black and white skull, which we speculated to be a nod to last year's tribute store with the comic book theme. Really bummed to see this one go. The second one is also a skull, but this one had fangs as well as a film reel next to it hinting at a possible IP. Lots of people were talking about this one being vampire related and possibly even Dracula. The third symbol only stated that it was an unknown IP, which we were all thinking would be a Blumhouse film. We just didn't know exactly which one. One thing to note with this one is that it was the fifth IP house speculated to be at the event, but now we only have four so far. Continuing with the ones we lost, we have the Minotaur symbol, which was making some people believe that we were possibly getting a Poseidon's Fury house, which could have been really cool. Then the final house symbol that we lost, which was a night sky. We were speculating that this one could be Nightmare on Elm Street, which would be a shame if we lost this property since it was a fan favorite and it had some high potential as a house for Halloween Horror Nights. And last but not least, we have the symbol of a castle street structure. However, this one was hinting towards a second show for the event, as well as it being related to some sort of IP. Now that we've listed off the ones that we lost from version one to version two, let's discuss the new additions to the speculation map. Starting first with the Bride of Frankenstein hair that is on top of the female gender symbol. We of course believe that this is for the Universal Classic Monsters house that we are anticipating to appear for this year's event. With the film reel and the Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein hair, it seems pretty likely that that's what it's pointing towards. The question is, which classic monsters? Yeah, that, that is the question going around right now, especially what we've talked about for quite some time. With Bride of Frankenstein's hair being there, of course, like the answer is kind of pointing towards, well, maybe we get a Bride of Frankenstein house. We did have, you know, one back in HHN 30 for Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and that's where we had all the female classic monsters. You had the uh, Brides of Dracula, you had the Bride of Frankenstein in there, um, and they were just kind of battling, uh, battling it out. So obviously we could see something in that nature. Uh, another thing a lot of people are talking about is also Epic Universe along the way with Victoria Frankenstein and maybe seeing like a story leading into what Epic Universe for the Dark Universe is going to have for us. Uh, generally, I don't really know. I'm kind of torn between the two. Uh, it would be cool to see something for Epic Universe, especially like a little story to get us, you know, prepped and ready for that. I just hope it's not too promotional along the lines of that. But Classic Monsters, it seems like we're going to be getting it in the sound stage according to this version of the map. Moving into the next new addition that we have is this Egyptian Museum picture of some sort. Uh, when I look at it, it's obviously some Egyptian cultural thing that we're seeing that's up on the wall. And then you got these little like, you know, like barricade blocking little fence kind of thing. 
what could this mean? I, when I look at this, I think of like, okay, only time I see something like this is usually in a museum, but what kind of house are we expecting? Are we expecting a museum house? Potentially, we've had one in years past at HHN where things in the museum have come to life. Another thing that I think of too is the thing that we lost from the last speculation, which is the Minotaur. If you look at just kind of the Mediterranean map, you know, Greece and Egypt being on the Mediterranean, we could potentially see a house that has to deal with that region of the world and maybe diving into something you know, maybe Greek, maybe Egyptian, maybe, you know, something mythological in a way, uh, just from that region. So Mediterranean house, possibly on the list. Heading into our next edition, which is this symbol of popcorn. And everybody seems to be talking about the sequel of a fan favorite and my personal favorite HHN original house, which is Slaughter Cinema. Now that would be amazing. That is my favorite house of all time. And I would love to see you know, different stories. We've gotten the Yeti houses that are kind of like spin-offs of the original Slaughter Cinema, but I would love to see the same kind of, the same thing, that anthology house, but then, you know, have it be different stories. Yeah, and you know, Slaughter Cinema in the past, that the one house that we had, it was based on ideas that creative pitch that never got approved. So could we see maybe another batch of things that never got approved for the event and have it during this Slaughter Cinema per se? Uh, another thing I wanna bring up too is popcorn, I think of the Usher, an icon that we have at Halloween Horror Nights, you know, dealing with the movies and having him involved. And it really seems like Universal is really like on the movie, the cinema kind of scale right now more than before. So maybe we can get something usher related in a way maybe a continuation of his story i know a lot of people are saying oh could he potentially be an icon for the event i don't know if this is really going to relate to that it would be cool to see something related to his character and maybe more of his story but i don't know I, either one of those i'll take one of the other but uh it, this is probably one that i'm more excited for just for the fact that it's like it's popcorn it's based on the movies you just don't know yet. Up next, we have a picture of a lantern with the film reel symbol attached to it, meaning this is supposed to be an IP house. Which IP house are we talking about? Uh, the community really has been bringing up Insidious. The most recent film that we got with Insidious by Blumhouse uh, featured a lantern. Uh, we never got to see the movie, so I, I really don't know what the connection with it as much. I know it was in like the uh, one of the posters, as well as it's a, it's a big deal to go with the film and what leading people somewhere in a way. Uh, but you know, it's got that film reel next to it as a symbol, a part of the lantern. So if we're connecting it to an IP, why not go with Blumhouse since we haven't talked about Blumhouse in a minute or at all today, really? and it being insidious. Yeah, and we do know that Blumhouse posted for New Year's that they wanted to go to HHN. It was one of their New Year's resolutions. And we know that we've seen a Blumhouse property at the event in some capacity the last several years. So not having kind of a Blumhouse movie on there, this is the one that we're like, okay, this must be the Blumhouse property. And finally, our last addition to the second version of the spec map is this black and white house now the only thing i could really talk about with this i really don't know what this is but if you look back at version one for the speculation map for this year we had that black and white skull that we lost which we thought that was kind of like relating to the tribute store from last year the comic book kind of theme to it and that maybe we would get more to that in a way as a house this time but now it's just like a black and white house like what exactly is that relating to yeah, and we're thinking that maybe that could be related to the section in the tribute store from last year that was Boris Schuster's section because that was all black and white. So maybe we're getting another Boris Schuster case files type of house and maybe it'll all be in black and white kind of playing on that black and white house symbol. Now, like we mentioned earlier in this video, we have a one more segment to briefly get into. If you notice on the speculation map, there's a couple of changes that were made based on locations. Another thing you'll see too, is that we didn't get a second show listed. However, one thing that we're speculating as well as anticipating is that there'll be at least two shows for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. Universal just recently made an announcement for a couple of things coming to their parks this summer, one of them being a new nighttime lagoon show. 
With this announcement, we now know that the Lagoon will be fully operational by the time Halloween Horror Nights kicks off. Could we potentially see the return of an HHN Lagoon show for this year? Well, our next video, we're going to be diving into that, so stay tuned. Well, that's gonna do it for us in today's video, briefly covering version two of HN Nightmare's speculation map. We appreciate all the work that they put in every single year for these speculation maps, for it is a lot of fun to discuss, and it's especially a lot of fun for the Horror Nights community. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our future content. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think of version two of the spec map. And until our next video, we look forward to seeing you all there. And like always, we'll catch you guys in the fog. Peace out, everybody. Bye.